Hi everyone, I'm Maya. And I'm Rhea. Welcome back to yet another Psy Twins video on disinfectants versus COVID-19. In the news lately, there's been a lot of speculation on ingesting disinfectants. Here's a quick disclaimer. Please do not ingest or inject any sort of disinfectant. It is not safe and will not help you protect yourself from COVID-19. Even Lysol says that under no circumstance should their disinfectant products be administered into the human body through injection, ingestion, or any other route. Now almost everyone has used a disinfectant or antiseptic, like a Clorox wipe or hand sanitizer. But what do these products really have in them? Why is it not okay to ingest these disinfectants? How do they work against SARS-CoV-2 or other viruses? In this video, we will answer all of these questions. The main active ingredient in many disinfectants is sodium hypochlorite. It is often used in dilutions and is called bleach or liquid bleach. It's been widely used since the 18th century. But here are some reasons why bleach can be unhealthy for humans. According to some studies published on the National Institutes of Health, bleach reacts with biological tissues, causing irritation and cell death. Bleach can cause harm to the skin, eyes, lungs, and other organs. In addition to this, if bleach is mixed with other agents like ammonia, it can release chlorine gas or other toxic gases. Short-term effects of breathing high amounts of chlorine gas include a buildup of fluids in the lungs and a shortness of breath that could cause death if left untreated. Lungs can be irritated, causing coughing. The elderly, smokers, and people with chronic lung disease like asthma are at greatest risk of harm. Drinking a bleach solution can cause vomiting, nausea, throat irritation, and stomach irritation. Long-term exposure can cause permanent lung disease and tooth corrosion. Long-term exposure is mostly found in the workplace. Bleach inhalation can also cause asthma attacks. In hand sanitizer, the most common active ingredient is isopropyl alcohol. However, rubbing large amounts of alcohol on your hands is not pleasant. The alcohol will quickly dry up your hands because it will disrupt the protective layers of the oil on your skin. This is why hand sanitizers also have other chemicals or moisturizers to counteract the drying skin. So you might be thinking, so it has alcohol, what's the big deal? I mean, tons of people drink different types of alcohol. But ethyl alcohol and isopropyl alcohol are different, and their pure versions are completely different. Ethyl alcohol is the only alcohol that is safe to ingest, but it must be diluted. Isopropyl alcohol, which is also called rubbing alcohol, is poisonous to pets and is twice as toxic as ethyl alcohol. In other words, don't drink something that has rubbing alcohol in it. So by now, we have covered what happens when you consume most hand sanitizers or other disinfectants. But how do they actually work against the virus that causes COVID-19? Little is still known on the effects of every product out there, but here's what we do know. The virus that causes COVID-19, called SARS-CoV-2, has an envelope. Envelopes help bind the virus to a host cell and can make it easier for the virus to avoid the attention of a host immune system. Once a virus's lipid envelope is damaged, the integrity of the virus is compromised, which prevents the virus from being harmful. And enveloped viruses are the least resistant to inactivation by disinfection. The lipid layers that make up the virus's envelope are held together by hydrogen bonds and hydrophobic interactions. They also have a nonpolar and polar region, just like alcohols. This allows ethanols and other alcohols to disrupt the molecule interactions and thereby dissolve the lipid layers. You don't just have to use alcohol-containing disinfectants to destroy the virus. For example, washing your hands with regular soap is perfectly okay too. Soap is good to use because the molecules disrupt non-covalent bonds that hold the viral particles together. They can also surround microbes and help detach them from your skin. The important thing to remember is washing your hands is one of the most effective ways to protect yourself from getting sick. Make sure to follow these five steps every time. Number one, wet your hands with clean running water, warm or cold. Turn off the tap and apply soap. Step two, lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Lather the backs of your hands between your fingers and under your nails. Number three, scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. Need a timer? Hum the happy birthday song from beginning to end twice. Step four, rinse your hands well under clean running water. Step five, dry your hands using a clean towel or air dry them. 
Thanks for watching!